Hi guys, um, I know I didn't do a normal proper intro, but yeah, I'm here, this is me, hello. <laughs> so, right now you can see me holding two bobby pins, I'm basically about to secure the closure and kind of place hold so that I don't sew any hair where the closure is going to go, if you get what I'm saying. So yeah, I'm just using the bobby pins and I will show you a closer view of what it looks like when it's held down. So right now I'm showing you guys how I actually sew the track onto the cap. So I basically stick the needle through and then loop the wool around the needle and then I pull. Does that make sense? I don't know. Hopefully you can see it like I'm about to do it again now. <laughs> so stick it through, loop it around and pull. I think there's a name for this type of stitch. Maybe like search the weaving stitch if what I'm explaining doesn't make sense. But yeah, that's that's how I do it. I just put on the first bundle and this is how much space is left. This is the closure. This is how much I still have to fill up. So I think the last three bundles are definitely going to fit here. This is not that much. The second one is probably going to take up this much. Then the third one, then the fourth one, I don't know, we'll see, maybe I won't even use the last one, but yeah. Okay, so what I did to make the one bundle take up so much space was I left quite spacious gaps in between, I don't know if you can see, not like too spacious, but like, they're spacious, <laughs> not the, like the each row isn't tightly sewn together just for the bottom because no one ever sees that and you know just to make up for any space that might get left and then I obviously did the fold over method because ain't nobody trying to cut weave you feel me I don't know if you can see that Jesus I cut this but it's the fold over method I will try to film it for you because when you cut your hair, it sheds, so I'd rather not, yeah. If you ever take your hair to someone and they make your wig and they cut your weave, they don't know how to deal with real hair. Just saying. Okay, bye.
so the second bundle is in they're both 20 inches um we're kind of getting close to the closure so i think i'm going to sew that first before i sew on the next bundle i might not need the fourth one but we'll see at the end yeah I'm here to apologize about two things. Firstly, I'm really sorry if these angles are really crappy and you can't really see what I'm doing. Right now, I'm just sewing in the closure. It's really hard to do everything and to try and not be in the way of the camera lens. But yeah, I'm trying. And the second thing I'm apologizing for is my crusty ass nail, because what is that? Um, In my defense, it was chipping while I was sewing because the needle kept like, I kept sticking the needle into my finger so it kept yeah cracking and then it looked tragic so i just realized that i've sewn it skew really snakes really but it's fine because i usually gravitate to a side parting more than a middle parting so maybe the side parting will look nicer but i could still do a middle parting because the closure is a uh what is it free part yeah just finished doing the closure looks like it's done hey but nah still need to add one more bundle um as you can see maybe two we'll see depends on how I spread it out but yeah here's a close look at how I sewed it on can you just see it's like just in out in out and out I don't know if I make sense but yeah that's the closure done and then when you sew the rest of the bundles you just have to sew like basically on top of each other like the next the track that's gonna go here has to be really really close so that you can't see but yeah so far so good two thousand years later you guys i'm so mad right now because this is all i have to do with the last bundle like the third one ran out while well, this patch was left it's smaller than my hand i'm so mad okay it's officially done i've just brushed it out but yeah this is it this is inside can't really see anything properly but that's the point isn't it um yeah so i used three bundles and like a little bit of the fourth this is the front I haven't cut the um, lace off. I will do that now. Okay, I have a really shitty camera. But, okay, so literally where the last knot of hair is, I'm cutting along there. Do you see that? Like this is the cutoff bit and then this is the rest that's still on. And this is where the edge of the hairs is. Yeah. <laughs> I'm finally done guys this is it this is the way um, I did a little blow drying so that it loses a bit of the the kinks that were there because of the packaging but yeah I think I'll still straighten it as well but ha yes so this closure is a free part as I said in the unboxing video so I just open it in the middle but if I open another parting and just blow dry it into place it'll stay as well there weren't any flyaways when I finished making the wig, like this is as is, I haven't washed it or anything like that. Um, what else? I hope everything was like properly explained so that you guys understand it and also like my, my 
caption thingies. I hope those were understandable. If there's anything that you guys want to know, please do not hesitate to comment because that is what this is for, to help. Um, I'm in no way a professional. This is just how I taught myself using YouTube videos as well. So if you guys have pointers for me, like you can totally comment those down to help me elevate my skills. But if it's criticism, <laughs> not today, Satan, not today. Okay, um, yeah, so, oh, can't stop playing with it, <laughs> so happy. This is it, this is the look. If you enjoyed um, this video, please do not forget to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And also, follow my other social media, because I will definitely be posting in this week. Oh, and also I'll be making the curly wig, um, like, soon. So I'll be posting that on my social media as well. Like I'm not going to make a whole nother video for it because, man, same technique. Um, so yeah, follow me on my social media to see all my different wigs.